This is the eighth video in the series of videos by the FOA for instructor training and certification. In this video, we're going to talk about the resources that the FOA makes available for instructors to help them in teaching a course. Since the FOA was started by teachers and is still basically run by teachers, we put a lot of our effort into providing teachers with the best resources for them to teach courses. This includes textbooks, websites, videos, links to manufacturers and other teachers, and all the FOA curriculum we make available for free. The FOA is actually on its second generation of textbooks. A few years ago, we decided to self-publish because our commercially published textbooks were getting too expensive. So now we self-publish our textbooks and they're printed on demand. So you can order them directly from the publisher at very inexpensive prices. The FOA Reference Guide to Fiber Optics is our primary textbook and the book that's used for CFOT training and testing. It's based, actually, on the website, the FOA Online Reference Guide to Fiber Optics. Because it's self-published, it's much lower cost, it's a, and is available at a 40% discount to FOA-approved schools. The materials are updated every year, not five years, like a temper, uh, typical commercial textbook. It's organized specifically for training, and it, it is keyed to online training guides, study guides, PowerPoints, and all the FOA curriculum materials. The FOA Reference Guide to Premises Cabling is the textbook for CPCT training. Likewise, it's self-published. It's designed by teachers to be used for teaching. It's keyed to all the backup materials the training guides, study guides, and the complete curriculum. And it's a very useful book for teaching about premises cabling because it, because it covers copper, fiber, and wireless. Whereas most people, as you know, when you deal with premises cabling or structured cabling, are just a bunch of copperheads. There is so much material specific to outside plant fiber optics that the FOA has actually published a separate textbook for outside plant. It can be used as the basic textbook for any course or it can be used for the specialist certification in outside plant. Likewise, it has a full set of curriculum and backup materials to help teachers structure a course based around this book. Teachers have always liked to have videos to use in the classroom, and the FOA has always provided them. For so long, in fact, they started on VHS tapes before they moved to DVDs, and now to the web on YouTube. The FOA offers dozens of lecture videos on premises cabling as well as fiber optics, and an equal number of hands-on videos covering how-to topics. Of course, besides the FOA, manufacturers offer lots of videos themselves, most of which have now migrated to YouTube. The FOA has its own channel on YouTube, which has proven to be quite popular. We have dozens of videos on fiber optics and cabling. We have lectures on fiber optics and premises cabling. And we cover important topics like safety, and the overview of communications. The channel is the FOA Inc., which is youtube.com slash user, user slash the FOA Inc. If you do not have the bandwidth to download these to your classes, contact us and we will burn them for you on a DVD to make them easier to use in your classes. There's a complete listing of all the videos on the table of contents page 
of the online reference guide. And then, of course, there's the Internet. The Internet is the biggest library ever. It's probably too big because it's very difficult to find things. It's mostly free. It's accessible to practically everyone these days. Totally disorganized. What would we be without Google and Bing? But one of the things about the web is that it's not always trustworthy. And we found that years ago, when people would go to Wikipedia in particular, and would find things were obviously slanted to sell a particular type of product. So the FOA decided it was time to create our own trustworthy website for fiber optics and premises cabling. The FOA started in 2007 to create its online reference guide, which covers fiber optics and premises cabling. The, the FOA Online Reference Guide has numerous technical articles of interest, uh, something on the order of four or five hundred pages of information. And it covers almost all the technical topics you can imagine. How fibers made, standards, safety, installation and testing, applications. There's all these great reference materials, all available free, and all are kept up to date continuously. We also have study guides for certifications and instructor guides. And where you need to go first is the table of contents. Recognizing the way the web is becoming more and more a mobile information system, the FOA Online Reference Guide has been designed from the outset to be usable on devices like smartphones and tablets. That's why when you look at it, you'll notice the pages are all very simple layouts and that's so they can be easily viewed on a typical mobile device. It's important to tell your students this. People tend to use the FOA online reference guide on their smartphones and tablets more sometimes than their laptops. The FOA has also created an online learning site we call it FiberU. It provides self-study programs in numerous topics based on using the FOA online reference guide, lesson plans covering the topics, and even quizzes that give you a chance to test your comprehension. FiberU is fine for someone who just wants to learn about the basics of fiber optics or structured cabling or how to use an OTDR. But it's also useful for people studying for the FOA exams or one of the ways a lot of our instructors use it is tell their students to study the basic programs before they come to class. So when the class starts, they'll already be understanding a lot of the material and their comprehension will be much better. There are two other guides that the FOA sponsors, Lenny Lightwave and Uncle Ted's Guide. Lenny Lightwave's Guide to Fiber Optics was first published in 1992, and it has become the place where probably most of the people involved in fiber optics got their introduction. Uncle Ted's Guide to VDV Voice Data Video Cabling is the introduction to premises cabling. Think of them as fiber optics and premises cabling for dummies. They're a great place to start, and if you don't think your students are likely to get through a fiber use self-study program before they get to your course, send them to Lenny and Uncle Ted first, because that way they'll know the basics and the jargon, and it'll move them way ahead in the classroom part of your course. Another thing that's online is a lot of information on standards. The FOA participates in a lot of different standards activities. And we make some of the standards available for free. We have an agreement with the National Electrical Contractor Association to distribute the NECA FOA 301 Fiber Optic Installation Standard free. You can download the PDF from our website. 
We also offer FOA's own one-page standards, free for everyone, which you can download also. After many years of participating in standards activities, the FOA, with the encouragement of our master instructors, decided to create some of our own standards. These are standards written by contractors, designers, and ins installers and users for contractors, designers, installers, and users, whereas most standards are written by manufacturers for manufacturers. Our standards are based on TS TIA and ISO IEC international standards, many of which we help write. But our standards are straightforward, summarized into one page, and backed by considerable technical information that tells you the whys and whatevers of all these standards. Please introduce your students to these and make sure you know they are available for their use after they graduate from your class. There are, of course, numerous ways of using the internet as part of your class. Assign homework or outside reading to your students from websites on the FOA guide or manufacturer's sites or wherever. Have them do research into special topics. You can even use it for web-based training. We do that through FiberU. There's commercial web-based training programs, and you can even create your own. And always remind your students that they can use all the FOA tech references once they complete your course and get certified while they're working in the field. Web-based training or online training or blended learning or whatever is a really big, strongly hyped technology today. But you know what? It's really quite simple. It's easily done. Look at FiberU and how we do it. You can find or create relevant web pages, create a lesson plan yourself, set goals for the lesson, link to online reading material or videos to watch, and add quizzes, and you'll see that's how we have built up online training through FiberU. For blended learning, you use this for a significant part of your classroom training, and therefore you can have classes that focus more on the online for classroom and laboratories to develop more hands-on skills. Now we're through with the training for instructors, we can talk about taking the exam. The CFOSI exam is the exam for instructors. It covers technical issues and teaching, where the technical issues are basically the same as the CFOT, but maybe a little bit more advanced. And the teaching part is based on these videos that you've been watching. We can say with some degree of experience and assurance that if you have not studied the material carefully, you will have difficulty passing the exam. When you feel you are prepared, you can send in an application. That's online also. We'll send you a login and password and make arrangements for you to take the test online. Good luck! That completes the first eight parts of the FOA instructor training videos. While you're at it, check to make sure we haven't added anything else to this playlist on YouTube. But if you've gotten this far, you're ready to study up, do some final cramming, and take your exam.